Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at super easy karaoke lyrics with motion graphics templates in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Okay, as I just said, it's Premiere Pro CC. If you're coming from CS6, this is a great reason for you to update. If you've seen my previous tutorial on using the old legacy titler, you know that there are many, many steps. This uses one uh, option, which is source text. It's so much easier. For the song, I'm using a clip from artlist.io. It's a great music website with uh, where you can license unlimited songs. It's incredible. I have a link in the description. I also have a whole tutorial about Artlist. All right, let me show you what I have and then we'll create it from scratch. Okay, so two things are happening there. First of all, the text goes from white to blue, and it also changes to the next verse. And we're doing that all with source text. So let's build this from scratch. Let me just move this down here, get it out of the way. And normally, you use the graphics workspace to call up motion graphics templates. But all we really need is this type tool here. So I'm going to go back to my editing workspace. And the reason being is most of the work that we're doing will be over here on the left hand side. OK, so make sure you've got your type tool and you can start typing the text directly on. I'm going to actually, I'm just going to go to Google Docs and copy that verse. Click and paste. You'll also notice that there's an extra carriage return down here at the bottom. So I'm going to hit backspace once. Now this is, this is the first verse. And you can, there's no keyframes for placement, so you can move the position of this after the fact. That's not the big uh, problem. All right, you have to choose the font now before you go any further. There's no easy way to change it for the whole song. So I'm going to leave mine as Acumen Pro Condensed. I'll make sure my playhead is at the beginning. I'll also drag this all the way to the end of the song, because. Right now, it's a duration of five seconds. I wanted the duration of the song. All right? If you don't see the source text, then spin this down and click on source text. And you'll see we've added our first keyframe. I'm going to click in this area. It's very important. I'll be clicking here and tapping the spacebar key. The reason that's important is if you have the text selected and you tap the space bar, you're going to remove the text and add space in there. So that won't work. I'm also going to add a stroke and turn this off. OK, all of this stuff makes sense in a second. So I have this selected. I'm going to turn on the stroke, click in the stroke, and I'm going to pick a color. So for me, I'm going to pick a blue. OK, I'm also going to turn, I want to select all the text and turn that stroke on, OK? Once I've done that, I'll turn the stroke off, and again, I'll click in this area here. And wait for the word through. and I'll stop. Now I'll make sure I've got my type tool, which I should still have. If I double click on the word through, it's going to select the word through and the space after it. 
because we had we added the stroke to the whole thing first, this color shows up. If the stroke shows up with a line in the middle of it, it means that there are two different kinds of stroke color in this uh, block of text, and you didn't do this first step correctly. So that's why I went to the first step, double click, select everything, turn the stroke on and off. Okay. Now I'll grab my eyedropper for the fill and I'll choose the stroke. Very important that you click here next and then hit play. And there's the word the. Click on the eyedropper, click on the blue. Click in here, play. Fields, double click. Click on the eyedropper, click on the blue. Click in here. Of, and you just keep doing this the whole way. And every single, every single time I do this, I'm adding a keyframe. Okay, let me just go through this now. Now you see why I have that stroke color there. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm also going to change the this size because I want to work with the keyframes. So I'll give myself a bit more room. There's the word but that I wanted to add to that too. I got the lyrics from uh, Artlist, so to make sure I was getting them right. There's keeping. Us. Close. I'll show you a timing tip in a second. All right, we've done the first verse. Now, it's obvious that if I'm waiting for the word to be heard and then select it, I'm too late. Every single one of the changing of the, the type color is too late. But if we move them all together, we'll just make them earlier. So simple. If I go back to the beginning now. So there's the first one. If I select all of these and then just move them a little bit earlier. Now let's watch. Isn't that easy? Let's do one more. Now I need to switch to the, the next verse. So somewhere along here, the next verse starts. So right there is where the next verse starts. So I'll back this up and grab the next verse. Copy that. Come back in here and select all, Control A, Command A on the Mac, and paste that in. We've got our extra carriage return, so I'll back that up, select all, and make sure that we're white. So this one, I'm not using the eyedropper. I'm clicking on the fill, dragging down, clicking OK. Now, the lyrics show 107, but I'll, choose, I'll change it to what you would sing, which is, I believe... See, this is where you have to get it right. Are you, 
Okay, it's 107. So I wanted to make sure that the word and was in there. Because if I tried to change the word seven when they said seven, and, and, and seven, let's say that I had seven and not and seven. If I tried to add the word and, I would have to change the word for and on the keyframe for hundred, a, youth, r, of, meadows. I'd have to change it six times. So you cannot change the whole block of text. If you go and look over here, you'll see that there's only one, one stopwatch for all of these properties here. That means that every single time you change one keyframe, everything that's in that block of text has to be correct. So that's why you gotta get it right. That's why I would always suggest you use a word processor or, or use Google Docs to type it all out. There's spell checking there, there's no spell checking here. All right, let's get the blue going now. So if we go back one, we'll see, there's the, the old text. And now we continue on, double click, grab the blue, click in here, of, I think you get the idea. Now for the chorus, we could copy and paste. See, it's a hundred. So I think you get the idea. Let's go back and watch what we've done so far. Oh, remember we needed to scooch that over, select those, move them a bit earlier. So there you go. That's as easy as it is to make those lyrics. Uh, and then you just export this out to YouTube or wherever and you've got a lyric video for that song. Karaoke lyrics, one property. The only thing is you got to make sure you have all of the, the text correct and all of the fonts picked before you even start. Okay, hey, if you use my affiliate link for Artlist in the description, you get two free extra months. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative and you're coming to us from the world of YouTube and, and uh, making karaoke lyrics, then welcome. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please subscribe. If you want to support us some more, like our wonderful folks with PayPal, then you can join them through PayPal. There's a link in the description and on the front of the page of the uh, channel. You can donate monthly or one time. You can use PayPal, credit card, debit card, whatever way that you think you want to support us here on Video Reveal. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get your lyrics looking great.